We got the Cajun grill lit, Kurt. That's right. Looking good. We got that little skillet for you. Got us a little skillet for sauce. Our sauce. The, the coals are looking real good. Now we're gonna come out here and we're gonna talk about the prep of the shrimp. I want okay. you to explain to the viewers exactly what you, how, how did you get it to look like this? This is not a complicated dish, Keith. Okay. So what we do is we get a large shrimp, okay? And then what's a large shrimp? A large shrimp is gonna be a 20 to a 15 count, which is gonna be 20, 15 to the pound. Right. Right? And you can get this at any local uh, seafood market, grocery store. Just be sure they're Louisiana shrimp. Or if you really want to save some money, you could drive straight down to Delcom. You could go to Delcom, baby. Yeah, let's go. Not long, Highway 14. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> but you want to make sure they're Louisiana shrimp. Right. Okay? Yeah. We, we going Not to... the prawns, because th these are shrimp. These are shrimp, okay? Right. okay? And the difference between a shrimp and a prawn is basically the size and where they come from. Okay. But these are uh, Louisiana farm-raised white shrimp. Okay. So we take them, we peel them down, and we're going to leave the tail intact, just like that. So you de-shell it all the way down to the very tail. And we're going to leave just the tail. Right. And the only reason why we do that is for presentation. Right. And then we're going to do what's called a butterfly. We're going to take a sharp pair of knife. We're going to cut it lengthways, just like this. Uh -huh. It's going to split the meat in half. Right. And then we're going to de-vein them. There's a dark vein in here. It's part of the shrimp's digestive system. We're going to remove that for obvious reasons. OK. The second thing this does is this lets us introduce the marinade all the way down to the middle of the shrimp. Oh, yeah. yeah all the meat's exposed all the way down. All the, the meat's exposed all the way down. OK. Once that is the way it is, we're going to prepare our marinade. Right. And the recipe is going to be online. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you'll see it on your <laughs> on your TV screen. This is going to be the recipe. So, and it's real simple. It's white, dry white wine. And when we say dry, we mean like a Chardonnay. We don't want a Moscato or anything that's sweet because that, that's not going to taste good. Okay. Olive oil. Olive oil. Fresh breadcrumbs. What's a fresh breadcrumb? I'm kind of I've seen, I'm yeah. seeing them in the can, you know, but right. what's a fresh breadcrumb? Yeah. This is a fresh breadcrumb. Okay. We're going to take a French bread. Right. And we're just gonna take a piece off, and you can tear it with your fingers if you want, but the easiest way is to run it over a box grater, cheese grater. Really? Yeah, and it's gonna make some small crumbs. So you don't have to bake it, it's just you gonna- don't have, No, yeah. we want fresh. Matter fresh. of fact, you can see this one right here, how it's flaking, that's what you want. You want okay. pieces just like that. Okay. Okay, it's gonna, you're gonna get uh, two cups of this. Okay. <clears throat> some fresh lemon juice some cilantro and some parsley. And what's the difference? Parsley, uh, they, they, they come from the same family, but they have two different flavors. Cilantro is very popular in Mediterranean and in Latin food. Latin, yeah. Okay, I mean, so what makes on. Mexican food taste like Mexican food. Yeah, you get that pico de gallo, whatever. That's, the, got, that's yeah. the predominant ingredient. Right. You're gonna come, and so some uh, fresh black pepper, some fresh ground black pepper, some kosher salt, you're gonna mix that all together. You're gonna to add the breadcrumbs and the shrimp. Right. And there's another ingredient. You're gonna see it's called Hungarian hot paprika. I know, me and you talked about that. We talked about that. It's hard to find. It's tough to find. There's only one place in Lafayette I know of, and that's at uh, Whole Foods. Right. Over there in River Ranch. Right, Fresh Market. I'm sorry, Fresh Market. Right. But they're gonna have a Whole Foods. They're gonna They'll have probably have it too. That's right, maybe they will. So all you local grocery stores, mom and pop shop, get you some of that. Do we wanna buy over there? We wanna buy with you. That's right. <laughs> If you can't find it, right. or you don't feel like going that in the town, whatever, you can make your own. Get you some regular paprika. Right. For every tablespoon, you're gonna put a quarter teaspoon of cayenne. Okay. And that'll make that make it hot. And that'll make it hot enough for you, or make it seasoned enough for you, and it'll pass. Okay. So then you put all these ingredients together. You put the shrimp in the bowl, and then you marinate it. Then you marinate it you, okay. for two hours up to overnight, no longer than 24 hours. If you do that, the shrimp will start to get tough. They get this. Okay. okay. So, so we're going to do this. Now, we got to take a break. But uh, when we come back, we're going to be talking more about the portobello mushrooms and maybe some more about the shrimp. So don't go nowhere. Stick around.